His words ring out 40 years on as he tells French lawmakers that, quote, there are no men on earth about whom one should totally despair. In September 1981, Robert Badinter made a formal plea for an end to the death penalty, stating that justice is human and thus fallible. I have the honour, on behalf of the government of the French Republic, to submit to the National Assembly the abolition of capital punishment in France. When François Mitterrand became president, the death penalty was still in place, even in its most terrifying form, the guillotine, a vestige of the French Revolution. On November 28, 1972, Claude Buffet and Roger Bonton were executed in the early hours of the morning in Paris, having been found guilty of murder and hostage-taking. Yet one of them was only found guilty as an accomplice to murder. His lawyer was Robert Badinter. I swore to myself, having seen Bonton executed, that is, seen a living man sliced in half, that my abolitionist attitude would become militant activism. In his role as lawyer and activist, Badinter would ensure that murderer Patrick Henry escaped the guillotine in 1977. Once elected president, Mitterrand named Badinter justice minister. Abolition of the death penalty became a priority for the new socialist government, but was met with strong resistance in some quarters. The abolition of the death penalty was adopted by the French Parliament on September 30, 1981. Once hated by a large chunk of the population for his stance, Robert Badinter is now among the most respected figures in the country.